Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing a late code question which is pass the pillow. So in this question they are saying there are n people standing in a line uh, labeled from 1 to n. The first person standing in the line is holding the pillow initially. Every second each person holding the pillow passing to the next person standing in the line. Once the pillow reaches to the end line, the direction of the change uh, reverses like people start passing the pillow to the previous person so it get like uh, in the opposite direction so initially they were passing in the forward direction after reaching to the end they will be passing to the previous direction or you can say backward direction for example they are saying once pillow reaches to nth position they will pass the nth minus one person and n minus two person and so on okay once again when it's, it is reaches to zero or one it will again start passing to 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. They are saying, given the two integer, positive integer, n, n means uh, the number of people standing from 1 to n, and the time, like at what particular time, like at particular time, like at a specific t time, what is the index at which the current pillow is standing, okay, after like uh, time second or t seconds. Here as an example, we'll check. Uh, constant, they are saying the, you can say that, they will be at least two person okay then the person range can go from two to thousand similarly time time is starting from one so that means like we will be starting like we the first person will have the ball we will start passing to the second person so the time is being one over here so let's see the example how we can do this like what uh, question is asking to us so if i say for the first example so in this first example n is given what n is given 4 and uh, time is given okay so time is given to us is 5 okay so i have my time and i have my n so let me write it over here like n is 4 over here and time is 5 over here now if you say like uh, i have one like n peoples or n person standing in a line so they are standing from a direction like something here is a line okay one is standing over here, two is standing, three is standing, and four is standing. Now they are saying a uh, person first, like if I say it is starting from here, and number will be also starting from one to n. So if I say this person currently have the ball or the pillow, so let me say like uh, I might have a pillow looking like this. You can say I have something like this as a pillow. Now they are saying this person will have the pillow initially they will start passing the uh, pillow to the next person so at t1 you can say at t0 it is here at t1 it will be here t2 here t3 here again when it reaches to last it will like uh, start in the backward direction so from here it was reaching uh, like going to the forward direction and from here like when it, it reaches to the last it will start in the backward direction so it was here like here time was uh, here time given us was zero here it was time two uh, one two and three similarly if i say this particular pillow uh, here got one two three and again it will come back so next time like uh, it will have the you can say the next time you can say it is like four second or here it will be five second so if i say okay in this question they are saying okay at time five what will be the index of a particular pillow where it is standing so if i say okay this will be standing over here so if i say this is my pillow it will be standing over here at fifth second so this is my fifth second i need to just uh, give me uh, get the address uh, like the index at, at which particular position is standing now if you say like they have given the constant like the number of a range or you can say a person is will be starting from one to n that means our indexing is starting from where one instead of zero so that means i need to have my some logic running from one to n not from zero to n okay so it's very easy question like we'll start going forward one by one when we reaches to the end point you can say boundary condition when our position position pointer reaches to this and this is let's say this is n so when we say if the position reaches to n that means I need to start uh, decrementing my pointer instead of going forward. I need to come backward. Similarly, when it reaches to zero, uh, you can say when it reaches to one, uh, because we have starting our array from one to n. When it reaches to one again, that means I need to reverse my logic again. It will go again to the forward direction. 
okay so i might be using some while loop or for loop till what till time 5 like okay till this amount of time i need to iterate over this array okay i will be going like this then i'll coming this then again going this then coming this till what time till time 5 okay so one for one two three again four five six so i'll go on till time equals to this particular second each time i will be like uh, counting okay uh, at what particular index you was in the last place so let me quote that particular example so if i say uh, i might have some position starting from one like initially ball is at first, first position and uh, i can start iterating from one to n so i'll say okay for i in range just start start iterating at particular time so i'll say okay at time t you can go from uh, you can you need to iterate over five times so i'll say okay iterate five times now i'll say initially i'll say okay is reverse true so i'll say is reverse true uh, okay is reserve reverse true uh, initially i'll say no it is false because i will be going to the forward direction that means i need to go to the forward direction uh right reverse okay now i'll check if is reverse true okay if it is equal equals to true that means i need to decrement my current position so i'll say okay position minus equals to one else it will be what like it is going in the forward direction that means i need to uh, do one plus to the previous index okay every time when we reaches to some boundary condition let's say like if you can say let's come here okay if our you can say what this position pos position reaches to either one or position reaches to what n which is given here the range then that means like i need to uh, just flip my condition like if it is going forward that means it is it needs to be go backward if it is going backward it needs to go forward so i'll say okay is reverse i'll say is reverse need to be swept that means i will be saying okay not of if it is true it will make it false if it is false it will make it true so i'll say just swap your condition now you can say your boolean condition at last i will be returning the same like uh, at what particular position you are currently at so let me compile this code so let me remove some point so it got accepted let me submit this code let's see whether it is running completely fine or not so it, I can see like it is running fine. But if you see here, okay, let me come to my code again. So if I say like I'm using one for loop to iterate uh, over this array. So here you can say like if the array was long, let's say like I have something, uh, let's say uh, the n over here is not four. Uh, let's take a bigger example. So I might have our n equals to what? So let me say I have n equals to seven and position or you can say the time i need to iterate till 11 second or just say 20 second so let me take some small size so i'll say okay n is five and we need to iterate over 12 seconds fine so i might have our frame like this so i have one person second person third person fourth person fifth person initially i will be going at time zero so here it will be at what it will be at time zero it will be at time two one two three four again five six seven eight here it will be starting from nine here it will be at ten it will, it will be eleven okay it will be it will be at eleven it will be at twelve reversing again thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen it will go so on okay so it will like start from here it will go again and again and again at particular time t like if reach if it is reaches to one particular position like if uh, the time reaches to 12th here that means i am at this particular index now how like i'm just uh, iterating over how many times t times but if i wanted to reduce this time like currently our time complexity is like order of t you can say order of time but if i say you uh, we can do this particular uh, example in time complexity of order of one like uh, I, I can do this in a constant space and constant time how if you see here like i'm just iterating over this particular path uh, that means i'm just repeating my some cases over here oh, if you see one thing 
uh what logic we are using over here like uh, where it was okay let's say like i was having some logic i was going from here then i'll just uh, checking if it is a reverse that means i need to reverse my logic i'll come here come here come here come here when it reaches to last it will again iterating from backward but if you see uh what if like i can have like how many um, iteration i have done so if i say if i start from here and if i reaches to here again that means from going from here to here if it reaches to any boundary condition that means it has done uh, you can say zero uh, if i say in terms of displacement if i say in terms of displacement i have just started from here and again came back to here that means i have at zero position so that means like uh, what if like uh, i can say if i have completed this path that means i am at particular position now if you see one more thing carefully uh, if i am iterating from here so my window like if i say how many uh, you can say uh, iteration i have done like uh, how many times i have iterated over this array so if i say for this particular case like if i am going forward okay let's say different color so if i am going forward that times the initial count you can say it's zero when i will come backward okay this time it will be one again when i'll go to the next case it will be two again i'll come to backward <clears throat> it will be three uh it is cycle like how much uh i have completed the path so when i reaches to the next last node that means i have completed one path when i reaches to previous node it means i have completed the second path okay so instead of saying it zero if instead of saying it zero let's say okay for first like the first forward path i have taken one for the next previous like backward path that means i have if you see in terms of displacement like i gone forward with one distance i came back again with one distance that means my distance becomes zero that means uh, i have completed a complete rotation so half rotation i have one point second rotation if i say this complete i can have two but uh, let's take uh, some more example what if i go here like i'm going the forward direction that means i have this as three again uh, when it reaches to the previous case like when it is returning it reaches to four over here if you see one thing uh, if i complete the complete iteration that means uh, i don't need to do anything but what if like i start like stop at some particular position so let's say like uh, i have started over here like my one pass has completed okay one complete path is completed and when i was returning over here my time got ended that means i have at least completed this much path okay so this can be ignored for now i just need to say okay how much remaining you need to iterate similarly if i say uh, i might have iterated over here once okay again i have iterated over here once you can say i have come, uh, done the one complete cycle again i was going forward and uh, my time got stopped at this particular position okay so i just need to give this particular amount of time like uh, this is a remaining time i need to <clears throat> like this will give me at what particular index you are at okay so what i can say <clears throat> i just need to give the returning time like remaining time i can say at this particular time this is a full time this is also full time but uh using this full time if it is going forward like how we can decide whether it is going forward or backward so if it is going forward i just need to have this remaining time but if it is returning to some position let's say uh if it is reaches to this particular position now it was returning this time this is extra time okay this was extra time but we need to like uh, remove it from the complete n time so if i have this size of n then i need to say okay n minus this extra time will be in the uh, this will be excluded from our time if i say this n is a position i'll say n minus extra time or uh, the extra steps i have done this will be what my current position if i was returning similarly if i have done the complete cycle or if i am just starting from zero uh, what if i st uh, stop over here that means i just need to have the extra time okay so that means i just need to give the extra time instead of n minus extra time that means i will be like uh, checking how many passes i have done completely and how many passes uh, is remaining whether it is even or odd 
So if I say if I have done this one path, that means it is uh, one. One means odd. If I return over here, it is two. So using this pointer, you can say using this number. If I say if it is one, that means it is at odd number. If it is the return pass, I will say the complete iteration. If it is one, that means it will be going backward again. If it is at two, you can say at even number. So if it is at here, that means it is in even case. If it is in here, it means it is odd case. Whenever uh, the last iteration, last known iteration is at odd, that means I, if it is at odd, I just need to return n minus the extra time, uh, the extra uh, steps you can say. If it is at even position, that means I just need to return the extra, uh, you can say extra uh, steps. Uh, it will be iterating. Okay. So let me show you the same thing with the coded example. So if I say I will be removing this all things for now. Now I will be maintaining two things. Okay. You can say uh, full, you can say path, path uh, traveled. Okay. Path traveled. So, uh, well, okay, uh, part travel will be what? I'll say, okay, n, you can say n, n is the size and uh, not n, like uh, if I say the time, time here, okay. So, I'll say uh, you will be iterating over some time. So, you can give me how much complete iteration you have done. So, I'll say, okay, if I divide this number by n, that means if I have four, let me show you this particular case. So if uh, here, <clears throat> let's take the first example. So if n was 4 and we required time at 5, that means I have 1, 2, 3 and 4. I just need like if I say if I write over here, the cases will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I just need to return 2 from here. How can I code this logic with mathematical formula? So if I say total size, you can say the n I have is 4. Uh, the time I have is 5, so I'll say, okay, 5 modular, uh, you can say 5 divided by 5 divided by 4. That means I just need to iterate over some time. So if I say time divided by the size or you can say n, it will give me, it will give me how much uh, complete um, cycles I have done. So if it is at this particular case, that means uh, I have done one cycle. If I say I at this position, I have done complete cycle here. It will come. It will be even. It will be odd over here. So this will give me uh, the even and odd condition. So if it returns me, uh, you can say one from here or three from here or five from here. That means it is at reversing case. Now it will be at reversing position. If it is giving me zero to four, that means it will be going forward next time. And Similarly, if I say if it is at you can say like 4 I have and 5 I have that means like if I say 4 modulus uh, 5 that means it will be returning 1. You need to return 1 less than from the previous path. Okay, so I will be saying okay, you need to have see one more thing like it will not reaches the complete iteration. Uh, it will be like if the n size you can say the size is at 4 you will be doing only 1, 2 and three steps okay because one will not be considered uh, the person having if i say remove all this if i say person standing from one two and three and four this will already have the ball i just need to pass to this one this one this one again if it is having the ball it will pass again to the next person so that means i am just iterating three three phases each time that means i will be passing my n minus one phase each time so i'll say okay Time divided by 1, uh, time divided by n minus 1. Similarly, uh, extra, you can say extra steps, steps. Uh, let me share the code one second. Okay, so here I'll say here, like it will be n minus 1. Uh, you can say how much complete path is done. So I'll say, okay, time divided by n minus 1. Similarly, how many extra steps? So I'll say extra steps. How many, how many extra steps I need to travel? So I'll say, okay, time modulus n minus one will give me the extra steps I need to travel. Now, if I say, okay, if the path travel, if I say for this particular case, if it is at even position or you can, let's say for odd position, 
I'll just say for even position for now. So if it is modulus two equal equals to zero, modulus where is this modulus two equal equals to zero? That means it is even. This time I just need to return what? I just need to return only the extra, extra, extra steps. Now each time when it is going forward, it is starting from zero. That means I need to return one plus. Okay, extra steps. Okay, extra step plus one because it's starting from zero uh, when it reaches to the previous case. Now, if it is odd, that means I just need to return what? I just need to return uh, the n minus this extra extra steps. So let me compile this code. Let me see any internal error. So yeah, n extra space. Uh, let me see it is running fine or not. So it is running fine. Let me submit this code. We are doing this in a constant space and constant time. And you can see it is bit optimized in the previous uh, example. So yeah, that's all for today's. Uh, thanks for watching.